This video is brought to you by Morning Brew. Oh. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm 10 Hundred. I'm an artist from Southwest Michigan. Today, I am in the car with Wifey, eating a bagel. <laughs> Hello. It's a beautiful fall day out, a little bit chilly, a little bit crisp, and guess what? I got $40. And the name of the game today is to go to thrift stores, find some junk that people have donated to these thrift stores, buy it, and then I am going to turn it into some artwork. We're gonna take our $40 and try to turn that $40 into as much as we can. Who knows, $1,000, $2,000. Let's see how far we can push this thing. <laughs> so, Chelsea's doing the motions in the background. And then Chelsea just likes shopping, so of course she's coming with me. <laughs> I just love thrift stores. Yeah. What can I say? It'll be a fun art challenge, so let's go. Let's go. Oh, let's do this. Yeah. Bagels. Ooh, bagels. We love the bagels. We love the bagels. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I found a Goodwill like four minutes away. You ready to do that bagel, lady? Mm -hmm. All right, we found a Goodwill. I don't know how weird they're going to be about me filming in there, so there might be some strange camera angles as I try to keep it incognito. There's a leprechaun costume in the window. Oh, sweet. Ooh, creepy little gold doll. This might be more difficult than I thought. These guys are stunting. Ooh, that's swaggy. I got some gowns here. You better get that too. I'm gonna go look at the knickknacks again. Those are sick. Those look kind of vintage. You could paint a custom skillet. I don't know. I think this might be a flop. Bruh, the Louis Vuitton suitcase. Oh, snap. $20. I wonder if this is real. That's half my budget. I don't know if that's real. This doesn't look like Louis Vuitton. Oh, yeah. Oh, glasses fogged up. Well, that was a bit of a flop. I guess on to the next one. I still have $40 in my pocket. $40 in my pocket. We're going to pop some tags. All right, we found another one called Six Degrees Resale Store. Never heard of it in my life, but I guess we'll give it a try because it's slim pickings out here. Slim pickings. Out here. That's what a horse would sound like if a horse could talk. <laughs> All right, we have made it to the next store, but you know, this video is very expensive. It's going to cost me 40 whole dollars. So I got to get paid somehow. So, real quick, let's hear a word from our sponsor. Hey, it's me, the sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> this video is brought to you by Morning Brew. Morning Brew is a free daily newsletter that gives you like a total roundup of news, business, technology, and current events. Usually, I personally never really have any idea about what's going on in the world around me. I sit in my little YouTube studio, I'm making dumb art projects all the time, I'm making videos. It's really hard for me to keep up with the news. But ever since I signed up for free to Morning Brew, I actually know what's going on in the world around me. <laughs> I feel like I gained a new superpower, knowing things. <laughs> it's important. Traditional news is dense and boring. Morning Brew is witty, relevant, and informative. I mean, one piece of super interesting news that I learned just yesterday is that the Subway sandwich shops went all the way to the Irish Supreme Court to argue over the definition of its bread. <laughs> and they also have some other cool stuff in there like quizzes and their Friday puzzle. It's something I never thought I would actually say but now that I've subscribed to Morning Brew, I actually have fun learning about the news each morning. So there's no reason not to subscribe to Morning Brew. Plus, it's absolutely free. Free! Free! It costs zero dollars, so subscribe to Morning Brew. It takes less than 15 seconds to sign up. Holla at your boy. Check out the link in the description. Every single person who signs up also helps the channel. Free, free, free. Get it in, learn some stuff, become a more rounded, well-informed human being. Thank you, Morning Brew, for sponsoring this video. All right, let's get back to these thrift store treasures. <laughs> Paint that table. Vintage Italian desk. They got way more stuff here. Dang, that's a lot of cool plates. Tripping, man. I could always get like a classic landscape and put one of my characters chilling in there. That's $10, looks good. That thing is just ready to be painted. It's huge. Ooh, I'm liking these. Super sick red suitcases. Matches my shoes. I don't know how much it is. Oh, dude, look at that super old vintage saw. Oh yeah, $3, definitely going with that. So I just asked the guy up front and he told me these were a dollar each. So I'm getting both of them. Well, that place was the come up. I got two suitcases. They were a dollar each and I got that saw for $3. With tax, it was $5.30. What a steal. All right, well, I mean, maybe I should get a couple more pieces, but- We'll go to like one each, more place maybe? Yeah, each of these things I have to turn into art. So I might come in way under budget. We'll see what happens, but let's find another thrift store. All right, we at 
Whoa, too close, man. You're too close. We had another Goodwill, so let's see what they got here. An Erector set. See, this is $10 here and mine are way cooler. Oh, dude, I used, I used to, to have, have that. that too. Dang. No, I did. No, I did. I used to have that. <laughs> Paint a little guitar. Rock'em sock'em. Rock'em sock'em robots. We should get that and fight each other. Bro, that's kind of freaky. That's like an evil Garfield. What a very spooky spot. Yeah, we found a place on Google Maps. There's no sign. There's nothing to indicate that this is a thrift store, but we're going to go try it. There's a cage door. If you guys don't see a video posted for me in a few months, just know that me and Chelsea are humps. locked up inside of the basement of Humps <laughs> Hand Me Downs. Wish us well. Wish us well. We're going to try this out. It looks dark. I don't know. That's We're scared. Run away. Run away. That place spooked me. <laughs> yeah. This thing's cool. I like the textures. Yeah. Look at the Hershey's milkshake machine. That's what I'm talking about. I like it. That's this is seven, 79 cents. I like the yeah. kind of green like that too. texture going on. That's sick. That vault door is crazy. Hey, look at this old vault. Whoa. This must have been an old bank. It must have been a bank. This is so <laughs> wow, I should get in there. It looks like the most gangster washing machine ever. <laughs> All right, that place was called Mosaic, and I got a plate, and I got these two kind of porcelain. One's like a beer stein, the other's like a crazy jar that says sativa on it. <laughs> when I was being wrung out, I set my camera on the counter, and the lady tried to charge me $5.99 for my <laughs> camera. <laughs> I think we got a lot of junk that we can turn into art. Let's go home and check out our haul. All right, I made it back home. Let's check out what I got. I got this saw, $3.00. <laughs> Jeez. I got this kind of jar thing, Lactuca Sativa. <laughs> Pretty sick. That one was like $5.99, so we're up to about nine bucks. This one was $9.99. This cool like stein, this crazy stein. I don't know if I'm gonna paint this or just put this on a shelf in my house, so <laughs> we'll see what happens with that. So that's like 19 bucks total. I got this kind of crazy plate, 79 cents. We'll call that a dollar, so we're at 20. And then I got these two suitcases. They were a dollar each, and so that puts me at 22 bucks. So I got a total of six items. I don't know if I'm gonna paint all of these for this video. It takes me so long to do one piece of art, so maybe I'll pick and choose which ones are my favorite. I spent 22 bucks, got six items that I may or may not turn into art, so here we go. <laughs> all right, I think I'm gonna start with this plate. I have no idea what I'm gonna do on this plate. Which way is even up, who knows? <laughs> but let's just jump into it. I wasn't sure what painting on this metal plate was gonna be like, but it was surprisingly easier than I thought. The paint stuck really well to it. I'm not sure, but this might be my first time doing acrylic paint on metal. I wanted to do this falcon, this peregrine falcon, and the only reason behind that is that in fifth grade, I had to do a book report on peregrine falcons, and they're a super dope animal. They can dive at like 200 miles per hour, if my memory serves me correctly. I might be forgetting that. I did do the book report in fifth grade. They're a super gangster animal, and I hope I did them justice with this painting. <laughs> my falcon plate and I just added it to the website for $375. Bought it for 79 cents. Let's see if this thing sells. All right, on to the next piece. All right, let me clean up these suitcases. these post of paint markers for the line art on this bad boy. When I started the suitcases, I couldn't tell if I wanted to do them together as a diptych piece where the art stretches across both suitcases or if I wanted to do them as separate pieces. But you know, I get so many emails each week like, yo, when is there gonna be more originals? We need more originals on your website that I decided to do them as two separate pieces. That way maybe two different people can take them home instead of just having like one big expensive piece for one person. <laughs> side of the suitcase and I logged on my website and I see that this one is now sold out. So, so far we've turned our 22 bucks into 375 bucks. Boom, baby. Let's keep it pushing. First 
suitcase. Got this side. Did this side. Now let's get this thing on the website and see if it sells. All right, I got the suitcase on the website. Got it priced at $600. I paid a dollar for it. Let's see how this one does. On this one, I really had no idea what I wanted to do, so I just started by drawing some circles. I think maybe I was hearkening back to that mural that me and Chutes did in London in Brick Lane. We just started by drawing circles and turned it into a whole mural, so when in doubt, draw some circles, I guess. And then I kept it to this kind of limited color scheme, just like six or seven colors. Painting suitcases is kind of where like painting meets a little bit more design, almost as I was thinking as though if this were printed and manufactured on suitcases, a cool design that people might want to carry on their suitcase. Less of like a traditional painting and more of like how you would design a t-shirt print. And then on the back, I wanted to try this kind of crazy repeating pattern of my signature, my tag. This is the first time I've played around with my signature like this, and I actually think it looks pretty cool having it lay over the top of the next one and the next one and the next one and building this like repeating pattern of my signature. You might see me use this design aesthetic again in the future because I like the way that it turned out. All right, that one has been added to the website. 600 bucks. On to the next one. Let's go. Saw. Uh, saw. Saw time. I think I want it to hang like this, like vertical. Could hang on a single nail right there and be this sort of vertical, crazy vertical piece on your wall. So that's what I'm going to do. I saw this saw. Got to make some saw-some artwork. I'm so dumb. saw All right, I'm done. Let's go. Sketching on the saw. Picture of a snake. First we gonna draw. Then we grab the paint. Lots of scaly scalies. This one won't come fast. Got too many projects. Call them snakes in grass. Watch out for the sharpish. This piece dangerous. Crawling on my belly. Feel like I'm stuck in the mud. But you can keep your head up, can you feel this part? When life comes at you with the blade, turn that into art. This piece is just way too fun. I knew when I saw this saw it was going to be something special. But man, I am really, really loving how this piece is coming together. All the scales on the snake are so fun. There's so much details to sink my teeth into. The fact that it's on this like rusted saw gives it this edge and this grit that made this piece come out super cool. I love the way this piece is turning out. Oh hey, by the way, I just want to let you guys know my online art class is back open for enrollment. I get a lot of emails asking when it's back. Well, here is me telling you it's back. It's a month-long art class. We take you all the way from developing your style and making original characters all the way to completing a finished painting. It's a great way to explore your artistic side, to explore your imagination, and make a beautiful piece of art that you'll be proud of at the end of the class. The hours are completely flexible. You can watch the lessons whenever you want, or you can do the projects on your own schedule. Definitely something you can fit into your busy lifestyle if you put a little effort into it. You can get enrolled at learnmonthly.com forward slash 10 hun. That link is down in the description. Enrollment is only open for like 10 more days. It closes Friday, October 16. So if you're watching this video pretty close to when it came out, enrollment is open now. Check it out. Can't wait to see you in class. I just checked my website and I noticed one of my suitcases sold. So now we're up to $975 off of our 22 bucks. Yeah, baby. All right, let's get this saw on the website. All right, the saw is on the website. I priced it at $850. Yeah, just got these two left. So far, so good on the thrift store challenge. All right, so the glass jar and the beer stein, I ended up putting those on some shelves in my house. I decided I just wanted to use them as house decorations, so I made four pieces of art. I think I'm done with the thrift store challenge, so I think it's time for the final sexy glamour shots of the art. Here we go.
was fun. I had a ton of fun making the art for this video. I hope you guys had a ton of fun watching. Let's break it down. How did we end up? Well, the thumbnail might say like, I spent $40 and turned it into 2000. And then I was like, oh, it was $22. But in the end, I didn't paint that glass jar. I didn't paint that beer stein. The saw was $3. One suitcase was a dollar. The other suitcase was a dollar and the plate was 79 cents. So I spent $5 and 79 cents. I already sold two of the pieces. And when I sell all of them, the grand total will be $2,425. Let's get it, baby, off some thrift store junk. <laughs> I guess the moral of the story is it's like, it's not important about your supplies. You can go and get some junk and paint on it. It's just about expressing yourself through your own creativity and telling your own story through your artwork. There's gonna be some nitpickers in the comments being like, well, dude, you had to pay for gas. So that adds to the budget. Actually, I borrowed my dad's car. He already had gas in it. I paid $0 for gas because <laughs> of COVID right now. I can't get a license plate for my new car. So technically it's illegal for me to drive my car right now. The DMVs are all super backed up. That's way too much information, but I wasn't driving my own car and I wasn't using my own gas. Other people might be like, well, your art supplies, you use golden paints. Those are very expensive. Well, Golden actually sent me a big care package filled with all my favorite paint colors. So all the paints I'm using right now are free. So booyah, what you got now, commenters? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, leave a like. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already. If you want a bunch of weird art videos, kind of like this one, check out my website, 1000art.com for t-shirts and hats and hoodies and long sleeves and all kinds of sweet stuff with my art on it. Prints, stickers, skateboards, schlazam, boom. Free shipping in the US, international shipping is available. Thank you to Morning Brew for sponsoring this video. New sponsor alert. And thank you so, so, so much to my patrons. You guys support me on a monthly basis. You make videos like these possible. You're the coolest people on the internet. I'm loving the community we got going over on Patreon. You guys know who you are. Mm, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me know down in the comments, which one was your favorite? Was it the saw? Was it the fat? Falcon plate? Was it the black and white suitcase? Was it the colorful suitcase? Should I have painted those jars? Should I have not used them for house decorations? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'm 1000. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Mm. See ya. Bye. Well, it's the end of the video, so it's time for the random comment shout out. This one comes from Redneck Brody. Brody said, this class really helped me get back into painting and got rid of my creative block. Would recommend 10 out of 10. Thanks for sharing your wizard skills. XOXO Gossip Girl. <laughs> Thank you so much, Redneck Brody. Getting this kind of positive feedback from the online art class like makes me feel so good. When I first put this thing out, I was like, oh, is anybody gonna learn anything? Is anybody gonna like it? But getting all these positive reviews and like even video testimonials and like just getting nice comments like this. Make me feel so good about all the work that I put into this online class. So appreciate you Redneck Brody. Glad you enjoyed the class. Glad you got over your creative block. Shout out to you. I hope you're painting today. I hope you're doing something creative. But yeah, keep kicking ass and thank you so much for the comment. Peace out y'all.